Dear baby Jesus, people are fucking retarded. You shuffle back up for a second. This is a Terrence Howard post, and that's not what I'm talking about here. At least not initially. Let me find it again. I just ran through here just to see who's in here and what they had to say. Here it is. It's, okay, real fast. <laughs> this is Masterpiece Revolution. Who left online? Yep, 100%. Yeah. So I chimed in and I said, It appears you're promoting the cross of Nero, a.k.a. quote-unquote victory, in place of quote-unquote peace. Yeah? Here's their account. Do you see what I see? They got 2,000 people following them and they don't have a goddamn clue what they're promoting. So, one second. So many people were triggered. So they wrote me and they said, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Can you clarify? Because people are fucking retarded. Here's what this guy has to say. One second. So many people were triggered by my last video about Terrence Howard that I felt the need to come back and clear the air. I think that Terrence has been the most impactful thing to influence American intelligence since lead paint. I think it's wonderful that he took time out of his busy schedule to take the short bus over to Joe Rogan's podcast to show us what spiritual psychosis looks like just in time for Mental Health Awareness Month. Terrence is lying by omission, because if he told you that other people had been playing with the same ideas for hundreds of years, he would also need to admit that they have been disproven. None of the information Terrence is ripping off was ever hidden. It was down at your local library. The problem is, so many people want their fake enlightenment puked down their throat like a baby bird. I think the real metaphysical mystery is why so many people are so gullible that they will swing on the nuts of some random D-list actor that gives you information with no actual proof. Now, this celebrity personality is no better than Terrence Howard. He promotes numerous propaganda campaigns. He's also utilizing social engineering jargon such as fake and triggered. Well-meaning people capable of abstract thought don't regurgitate shit like that. Why? Because it's been put in place in the public sphere to mislead and manipulate us. Stands to reason, but you'd have to think about it, just like the kid who couldn't figure out, you know, what their uh, profile image is and what the name of their fucking account is. Um, I haven't missed this guy. This is the first time he's popped up in the fourth iteration of my TikTok account since they keep deleting them. This is the fourth one in less than six months. So this guy. Yeah. Oh, look, but he's the most shadow banned account with how many people following him? 5,088,000 or five. I can't say it. 588,000. Pardon me. <laughs> I got to blow my head off my ass. <coughs> I just thought I had a blush. Can we see something in here that stands out and is a fucking joke? Everybody's been talking about the Kabbalion as well. The book is not that impressive. I don't think it's impressive at all, to be honest. ADHD doesn't fucking exist. <laughs> it doesn't exist. It's an environmental and it's based on your diet. In other words, people, we wouldn't be shitting out retards. We wouldn't be shitting out people who can't fucking focus if we didn't live in, you know, a net of energy having to do with 1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, and 5G. If we weren't eating genetically modified poison because we decided to call food organic, which opened up the door to what? Poison. The list goes on. And now people are driving around in electric cars and sitting in a fucking microwave. People aren't very bright. Let's see what we got. Oh, look. The Miami alien hoax. The closest thing you're ever going to see to fucking test tube aliens are test tube aliens. Man-made abominations created, you know, concocted, slapped together in a fucking lab. And then you got a lot of kids out there that will talk about Project Blue Book. And they'll talk about, you know, uh, Project Blue Beam. There will be death. Our masters will send off uh, rockets or what have you. They're, they're going to firebomb some of the major cities. But this is still years down the line, to say the very least, if I'm right. Um, but just the same, where we are, what this is. I'm not referring to the flat earth, and I'm not referring to the globe theory. Both of those are paradigms that were spoon-fed to a bunch of morons, and that's what they believe in. It's Hegelian dialectic, blue versus red, conqueror and divide, the Doppler shift, twilight and sunset. It's quite literally just pulling people in two different directions. Knocking you off balance. It's one way to think of it. Because 
It's not what we experience. You don't get to choose one or the other. You don't get to choose one or the other. Where we are, what this is, for the most part, has been erased. It's been scrubbed. It's been relegated and or spirited away to uh, sites. <laughs> I should say libraries. You can think of the, what was it, the Vatican Library, crudely speaking. Uh, monuments were destroyed. That's why our masters ran all over the fucking realm. And this happened a very long time ago. And most people haven't connected the dots to appreciate what I'm getting at. Which is why they superficially, you know, just buy into the flat earth or the globe theory and or both at different stages in their lives because they are not thinking for themselves. Good people don't promote alien horseshit is my point. And if you understood where we are and what this is, which you could reason out if you took the time to try to figure things out. It paints one picture, not his picture, her picture, your truth, my truth, a fucking picture, the big picture. And it's how everything fucking works. I'm sitting on answers, but I can't find people who want to think for themselves in order to... <laughs> That's why I don't show them most of this stuff. <clears throat> oh, look. Celtic Tartaria. Tartaria is another fucking social engineering campaign. It's in place to erase what once did reflect reality. What once did reflect history. Tartaria is fucking nonsense. The mud flood is fucking nonsense. This is why you didn't hear about these things. People didn't write books about this shit. Prior to the invention of, you know, really, it's the DARPA internet, which was spoon-fed to the people roughly in the major way in the 90s, but really 70s and 80s is when they started kicking all this shit off. Um, yeah. Just a review. I'm going to talk about the Bilderberg Group and the Davos panel. The Bilderberg Group is the private format of this jazz where they, you know, uh, sacrifice babies, they have orgies, they do drugs. It's a boys club. It's bullshit. Um... And the public function of this, at least the public transcripts that are available to you and I, because this is a consent-based system, is the Davos panel. The Davos panel, years ago, they openly stated, because, again, it's a consent-based system, they told us they were going to give us numerous forms of communication. Any telephone line you could think of applies to this. The internet applies to this. So that's why, uh, what was it, dancing it back, you had free AOL discs because they had to get your butt in the door and on board with this agenda. This is why you got free cell phones when you sign up for a plan. And this is why social engineering platforms that retards have taken, you know, really they were spoon-fed this and they repeat it without thinking. They, they call social engineering platforms social media. And what it is is you and I are profiling ourselves um, we're tracking ourselves in a number of ways. We're doing our master's job for them. It's something that J. J. Edgar Hoover would dress up, you know, in a dress and probably come in a, a woman's pump over and be just thrilled by how many people have taken to profiling themselves and quite literally documenting their, uh, their behaviors, if you will. We're also training the AI, which is something that shouldn't fucking exist, but it does because people aren't doing the right thing. Um, to look around, have we put an end to genetically modified poisons? No. Are people banding together and preventing aircraft from taking off and, you know, crop dusting us with, uh, chemtrails? No. Um, and the list goes on and I can't talk about the agenda from 2020, um, not by name because it's an agenda and our masters moderate all of the social engineering platforms, which is why... <laughs> Censorship is alive and well today because this is closer to what the internet, the DARPA internet, was always intended to be. Our masters are tightening the noose because the goal is control. And most people don't have eyes to see, which means they can't see the forest for the fucking trees. They don't understand because they don't mean to. They're lulled into a daydream within a daydream within a daydream within a daydream with their entertainment and all the other fucking garbage. It's bread and circuses, motherfucker. And if you pulled your head out of your ass, you just might realize some of these things. Meanwhile, this fucking bastard says that he's the most shadow banned account. I cry foul, but as always, what the fuck do I know? So many people.